Can you use AI to create 3D renders for your product images? Joe from AI for e-commerce and Amazon sellers shared a very cool SOP for how to take a simple image and transform it into a 3D render. Let's test it out. Okay, so according to Joe, this is what we need to do. We need an active chat GPT account. We've got that. A device for capturing high quality product images, a central repository to store them, and product and label images, a clear base image of the product with a neutral background, a close up image of any label text or distinctive detail on the product. So I'm choosing one of my favorite protein bars. This is the Aloha, the oatmeal chocolate chip flavor, which is my favorite. And it says I just need to take a clear photo, ensure the product is well lit with a plain, preferably white background. Got my white paper, got my protein bar, setting it down. I'm going to take a picture. It says ensure the product is well lit. Focus on capturing the shape and key design. So a detailed image of the product label, if applicable. I feel like that's pretty much in this case what happened because the label is the product since I'm not taking a a picture of the actual unwrapped bar here. But if you do have a product with a label on it, you want to make sure that it includes any label or key printed information. Ensure the label is in sharp focus, clear and legible. So you would label your files as main product image and then the label image, and you would upload both of those into the repository. Let's airdrop it to myself. Okay, my computer has received it. Okay, so now I have the image and I'm gonna upload it. It says easy access during the AI prompt process because it's just one, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so step two, we need to go to chat GPT and it says initiate a new chat set the model to access image editing capabilities I'm already at that model click the plus in the prompt area to add the product base so I'm gonna click plus add photos and files product base okay so I've added that in there it's currently loading input a detailed prompt for the 3d creation example of the detailed prompt and it's the prompt that's written is please create a high quality 3d render of the product using the attached image product base use the close-up to accurately incorporate and highlight the label details I'm not gonna say that the I'll just say use the image because use the image to accurately incorporate and highlight the label details. The final render should have a realistic lighting depth and shadows showcasing the product from an appealing angle. Emphasize clarity of the label and ensure that the texture and materials are accurately represented. Let's see what ChatGPT does. So here we can see the Aloha bar. You can see it held up here. It looks really good. Um, I like the way also in like the packaging of mine, there's some little like dents here and it's not like floofed. I know that's not proper terminology, but like I think of like, you know, like a, a throw pillow and you uh, throw it on the ground and then you karate chop it to make it look nice and like plumped up. It's It feels like that's what they've done with the protein bar render in this image versus what it's like here. Now, as far as just some little nitpicking is concerned, the package there looks a bit more yellow than this kind of like khaki off-white color of the one that's before me, um, but that's quite minimal and I'm sure a good prompter would be able to easily adjust that to the exact hex code that they would want, obviously. Um, something that we could play around with, but I just, I want to continue reading the directions a little bit more to see. So what she suggests is examine for clarity, accuracy of label, and overall visual appeal. And then this is really cool because she gives some information about if adjustments are required, provide a follow-up prompt, such as please adjust 3D render to use a slightly warmer light tone and increase the contrast around the product label for better readability. So you know what? Just because why not? Please adjust this, the 3D render to a slightly cooler light tone that is more khaki than yellow. Um, and I don't think that I need to increase the contrast. Make the background label color 
Let's just see what it does. So this is too yellow. I tried adjusting it to make it a bit cooler and more close to khaki and ended up with green. So for the sake of time and the fact that this kind of detailed correction is not yet a strong suit of mine, I think I'm just gonna save this image and I'm gonna continue along with the process. So now we've reviewed and iterated. So create a meta ad using the 3D render. So Joe in this SOP is suggesting that we can use this to create a still image ad for Facebook and Instagram. So something that's more lifestyle oriented that is going to drive people to a product page to purchase. So we need to define the ad objectives, identify the primary goal, whether it's brand awareness, product promotion, align with brand identity, ensure any existing brand guidelines or previously distilled brand elements are referenced, and then generate the final ad image. So we're already in the correct model for ChatGPT. It says upload the final 3D render. So I'm going to start a new chat. I'm going to upload upload that image. Okay. Input a detailed prompt for meta ad creation. So I'm copying this example prompt and let's just read through it. Using 3D render of our product, please create a meta ad that is eye-catching and Instagram friendly. The ad should feature the product in a dynamic setting that highlights its innovative design and high quality label details. Incorporate our brand's color palette and add a subtle overlay text with a catchy tagline. Ensure the design is modern and aligns with our brand guidelines with clear focus on both the product and distinctive label. This is including a strong emphasis on wellness, clean ingredients, and longevity, and how they can still taste great. It says with a catchy tagline, which I don't know if that's going to copy that into this. So let's just try it and see. And then of course, Joe suggests that we need to check ad alignment, verify the final ad effectively communicates the product's features, any additional revisions, save the document. So you can see there's something kind of funky here with this image because the woman is drinking the bottle with the lid on and there's also some distorted text. So these are just some of the details that if you watched my previous video that talks about whether you should use AI images or not is something to consider because if you just take a quick glance, this is a beautiful image. She looks happy and content as she drinks her protein drink. However, once you let your eyes linger for a moment, you suddenly start to be a little bit like, huh, what is this and what am I looking at? Which isn't necessarily always a bad thing, but you just want to be mindful of that uh, and making sure that it is not going to detract from the brand that you are building. So let's go back to ChatGPT to see what it has in store for us. Okay, it looks like we're getting something yellow. I'm not sure that a human is going to be incorporated into this ad. Yeah, okay. So experience innovation in 3D, that, that was what I was concerned about. So you know what? Let's start over. So I'm going to add the photo. And by the way, if you don't have a lot of experience doing things with AI, this is just how you familiarize yourself with it. So I'm not an expert with AI image design and generation, but this is how I learn how to be proficient at it. And this is how you can learn. Also, it's not something to necessarily feel intimidated by. So let's go back with this. So I'm going to specify I would like this to be a lifestyle image with a person holding the protein bar as they go on an outdoor adventure. There they should look inspired and excited to tackle the road ahead with a catchy tagline like the fuel love. It's not actually a good tagline, just want something there. Um, ensure the design is modern and aligns with our brand guidelines with a clear focus on the product and its distinctive label. Our brand believes that longevity, health, great ingredients, and well, Wellness should taste great. 
Okay, let's see if this is any better. Pretty cool. It's not ready to go as is, but it looks pretty good. I'm I'm impressed. I'm going to download it. Final things, verify that you like it, make any final revisions, and then export it and store it in your repository so that you have it as an asset. It sounds silly, but when you're creating all of these pieces of content, it's so important that you have a good way of storing them so that you don't misplace them and so that anybody else on your team can easily find them when it's time for them to put them out into the world. Thank you, Joe, for this really awesome, simple to follow SOP. I think it's really worthwhile and could be very helpful for people that are in a pinch or that are limited on budget. And I would love to know, is this an SOP that you would integrate into your process? How would you use this as you look to grow and expand your e-commerce business? But if you'll notice something really important in this SOP, which of course Joe doesn't spell out, is the importance of brand guidelines. And we know that with AI, the more information that you give it, the better quality output you're going to get. So if I spent a lot of time developing out a brand identity and brand guidelines, including fonts and colors and aesthetic and overall vibe. And then if I also gave it a bunch of information about who my target customer avatar is, when I have clarity around those two things, who my brand is and who my customer is, then the AI can do an even more effective job of really bringing all of this to life and giving me a deliverable that I could use. So if you want to know how to take this really simple to follow process to the next level, then you must create a strong customer avatar. And I have a video that's going to walk you through exactly how to do that. You should definitely go ahead and click over there right now. I better see you there. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Bye.